Okay, but that's a little bit much for me. Right? We're really trying to control the person's elbows and their shoulders and hips like this. Yeah. Right. This is a more useful position than this because if I get here and he shoves my arm off, now he's on my back. Yeah, and I'm in trouble. So I'd much rather have this. Yeah. This is better for me, and it's better for me. Yeah. Well, at the moment. Right. I've got more things between my shoulders to submit. I've got two arms now and a neck. When I do this, I've only got the neck and one arm. Whereas over here, I've got this arm that I can attack as well. Okay? All right. So there's more for me offensively here. I've got better control because I've got more armpits. Yeah? You can only have two, you can't have any more armpits. Right. Okay, but losing an arm that gives me less control. Yeah. But it's important that you get used to being held like this and figuring out how to get out. Or, at the very least, how to make it more comfortable for you. Because if you fight judo guys, they are masters of making it really uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay, so we'll spend a couple of weeks looking at this position. We've got three different escapes. We've got a couple of submissions we can do from it. Right, but for now, we start open side sit out. Your goal is to control this, and then, while you're here, try and grab their head. Which should be zero success for me, because we've just spent 10 minutes learning how to get out of it and how to prevent it. So the person here should be winning every single time. Because the person on top knows nothing about it at the moment. Cool, so start here, go from there. What is it?